Hi everybody, today we're installing PowerFlex polyurethane control arm bushings on a 2003 Mini Cooper S and we'll be doing this on the car without removing the control arm carriers from the car. So these are the PowerFlex bushings. Uh, this center part goes into the control arm and this turns and then this part gets pressed into the control carrier housing. This is the tool I've made up to uh, press in the new control arm bushings. All right, um, I went and had pulled these control arms out. So I don't have a hot enough torch to uh, get these things out via heat, so I just use a reciprocating saw and I cut them out with just a nice straight line along the bottom. So I just find a nice angle that I can get a straight line cut in there and just have at it. Here goes. there. So basically you just want to nick this without cutting through to the uh, carrier itself. And there it goes. So there's only a little tiny just a uh, edge here which I cut through. So you just cut a line just enough that it scores it. And actually I'm feeling in here and there's almost nothing where I've cut here as long as you hold the, the saw nice and level. You can cut through without doing as much as just, just a tiny nick on the uh, carrier itself. Just shove everything through. So you basically just want to get the front and the rear lined up as evenly as you can so that when you start tightening that it goes in as straight as possible. But even if it goes a little bit crooked, you don't need to worry. You just keep squishing it down and um, eventually it has no choice but to go straight. You'll just want to keep an eye on the outside edges and make sure that you're seeing constant gradual motion. And as long as you're doing this, eventually it will pop right into place. Okay, there it goes. Next, you can finish tightening it down until the tool starts to have some resistance. And then remove the tool and then hammer it in the rest of the way with the hammer until you can start to see the ears sticking out on the back side of the control arm carrier. The new purple bushing is really tight when it has to go into the black uh, outer bushing part. Uh, the best way to do this is to uh, use a pry bar and just pry really hard and it should pop right in. But make sure that the inner ball joint 
stud is in the hole on the control arm before doing this. Okay, and that's that. It's done.